Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. Farmers have demanded marketing of commodities produced in Doti district. Five varieties of cardamom have been identified as Nepali varieties. There's production of organic fertilizer in Saina Maina municipality of the Rupandehi district. Plus more. Let us continue the program with Nepal and China relationship. Nepal is located between China and India. We can never relocate our country. We have to live in harmony with the whole world, especially with China and India. We have to compromise with what we have and make it in our favor. We have to work for each other's good. When we work for the good of others, good things happen around us. Why should we have animosity with anyone in the world? We are all in the same boat that is the earth. We are supposed to glorify the Creator so that God blesses our work to furnish our life. Chinese and Nepali companies are doing just that, working for the good of both Nepalese and Chinese. A memorandum of understanding was signed on 11th December 2020 between Chinese company and Nepali company in Balwatar, Kathmandu. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. A memorandum of understanding was signed on 11th December 2020 between Chinese company and Nepali company in Balwatar, Kathmandu. Tibet Kunua Agriculture Development Corporation Limited, Kunua Export Import Private Limited Kathmandu and National Agriculture Development Company Private Limited and Liku Agriculture Nepal Private Limited signed a memorandum of understanding. These companies have been working on agriculture sector. The MOU was signed with the presence of both the Chinese and the Nepali company members. The MOU was signed by Mr. Su Bayu, the manager of the Chinese company, Mr. Vakta Bahadur Thapa, the manager of KEI, and Mr. Lochan Basnet, the chairperson of NADC. In the MOU, there has been agreement on different terms. Fourteen different purposes have been listed, which include promotion of organic agriculture system, unification of production system, promotion of environment-friendly and cost-effective agriculture inputs, promotion of landscape-based tool and missionaries, etc. The term of the agreement shall come to force and effect on the date it is executed and shall end when the parties determine to no longer act as partners or when the purpose is achieved. The project implementation fund will be generated from the source of business investors. Thirteen responsibilities of Chinese side are listed. This includes joint conduct baseline, supply quality, cost-effective and Nepal-friendly agriculture inputs, coordinate and facilitate on accumulation of financial resources, lead technical and scientific research projects, etc. Responsibilities of Nepali company are also listed. After the news report on Nepal and China, let us now talk about Junar oranges. Yes, it is that time of the year when all the Nepali citrus is ready for harvest. This next report is on Junar Orange Festival. This festival was held to promote the Junar oranges from Sinduli. They are supposed to be organic and new tracking device is attached this year. This was the first time the Junar festival was held. Sinduli is considered a super zone for Junar. The farmers are thrilled to be supplying Junar in Kathmandu. The festival included some other agriculture produce along with juice tasting stall. Junar oranges are very nutritious as they provide high content of vitamin C and fiber. These nutrition are good for overall health of the body. Nepali Junars are especially good as they are organically grown. 
Janara Festival was held in Lalitpur on 12th December 2020 for the first time. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Junar Festival was held in Lalitpur on 12th December 2020 for the first time. It was organized by Agri, Clear and Green Grow. The Junar oranges from Sinduli were brought for both show and sales. The farmers themselves were present and selling the produce. The festival had a good atmosphere. The people were cautious about the corona pandemic. There was juice stall where everyone could taste the real Junar Orange from Nepali foothills. The Sinduli is considered as the super zone for Junar Oranges in Nepal. During this season, the Junar will be available in the farmer's market in Ageno, Lalitpur, every Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. Sinduli ko Sinduli, yo Junar da wa, amra Sinduli ko maulik falay ho. Sinduli ko ami deske maulik falo. Sinduli ko प्रमुख बाली बने रहते हैं जो है ना कृषि में अब रामरो सह इस बाली अब इस बाली बड़ा कश्मीर में जाएं हम लोग सहकारी ले जुनार सहकारी ले यो ऑनलाइन बड़ा बड़ा क्यूआर कोर में आपको बिक्री करना शुरू कर रहे हो सब यो पहले चरण हो ये रूम कस्टम हो सब The program has featured a technology to track the जुनार from Sinduli. When we scan the sticker of the original जुनार from Sinduli, the information of where, when, and who picked the Junar will all be seen. It also informs about the distance traveled. So, I am first time you I am the first time try to you your rounds, isn't it? But I think the success so far, success is boy, because people are really interested, isn't it? Man, so the technology is okay, so I mean, I am the as a company, I am test money, or not? I am the product cost is boy, that's why it's boy, that's it. अने मैंने रियली इंटरेस्टेड किन्हें निवार लाये से कंज्यूमर्स जोर लाये से देरे जान लाये से जुनार कोता बड़ा आये कुछ हो से एक नो मंथ सोंस निवार ले कोता फॉले कुछ हो तो सभी इनफॉरमेशन जो आये हों से निवार ले फोन में चेक करने वाले हों से सभी इनफॉरमेशन। The program included other vegetables and agriculture produce as well. The produce come from Patali Gaon Organic Farm in Kavre. After the news report on Junar, let us now talk about lack of market in Doti. Due to Corona. The agriculture produced in Nepal are going wasted still. The people are fearful to venture and the transportation and market management has been very poor for almost a year now. The farmers are producing and production is high. However, the farmers are at loss and the consumers have to pay high price due to lack of coordination of market. The government cannot really do anything about it. It is really up to the people. No one wants to risk his or her life. Yet, life must function somehow. The money should come and the food should be in the table. It is a really hurtful time in the history of mankind. Farmers have demanded marketing of commodities produced in Doti district. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Farmers of Doti district have demanded to market the products including oranges, sweet lime, lemon and lime. Produce in the rural areas here have been rotting and wasting due to inability to get the hard-earned produce to the market on time. They are also not getting fair price. The farmers say that these items are still not available in the market due to COVID-19 this year. Due to the corona, most of the villages here are close to traffic. The goods produced by the farmers have not been able to reach the market. The district has two municipalities and seven villages. Now with the oranges, lemons and the lime season, almost all the villages here are thriving. There is a situation of wastage due to non-delivery of produce to the market on time. Lack of collection center market and transportation in the production area has led to wastage of seasonal and non-seasonal fruits and vegetables produced by the farmers. Farmers of the district have been getting frustrated as agriculture produce like ginger, turmeric, orange, garlic, lemon, lime, radish, soybean and sweet lime do not get market and even if they get market they do not get fair price due to the middlemen. Farmers have demanded that the local government should take initiative for marketing the agriculture products. According to the Agriculture Knowledge Center, Silgari, oranges, 
sweet lime and lemons worth at least 10 million rupees are sold in the district every year. According to Dipal Agriculture Development Directorate, initiatives are being taken to market the products including oranges, lemons, lime, soybeans and worth produced by the farmers and to set up collection centers at the places of production. After the news report, let us now talk about cardamom. Cardamom originated in the moist forests of the south of India. It is grown in the moist areas of Nepal as well. Cardamom in Nepal draws foreign currency. India is the largest market for Nepali cardamom. The president of Nepal Cardamom Federation, Rajkumar Garki, believes in the high quality of Nepali cardamom. However, the processing plants of the Nepali cardamom are in sad condition. They need upgrading. Right now, only five varieties of cardamom are identified as Nepali cardamom. The next report indicates that there are 14 varieties of cardamom that are grown in Nepal. Nepal is in the northern part of India but is still considered as the southern hot country in South Asia. Although cardamom has been cultivated in Nepal for a long time, not all varieties have been identified yet. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Although cardamom has been cultivated in Nepal for a long time, not all varieties have been identified yet. According to the Cardamom Development Center, FICO, 14 varieties of cardamom are being cultivated in Nepal. However, so far, five varieties have been identified and sent to the Ministry of Agriculture. Nepali cardamom varieties have been identified. Cardamom cultivated in Nepali orchards have been classified and sent to the Ministry of Agriculture for official approval. Although cardamom has been cultivated in Nepal for a long time, the variety was not identified. India has made its mark in the international arena. Cardamom grown in Nepal is also owned by India. Nepal has also identified a new variety of cardamom for providing in the international market. Although about 14 varieties of cardamom are cultivated in Nepal, only 5 varieties of cardamom have been recommended so far. According to the Cardamom Development Center, FICL, the meeting of the Variety Approval, Unveiling and Registration Subcommittee has recommended the name of cardamom for registration. According to the center, 5 varieties will be registered now and other varieties will be recommended in phases. Cardamom varieties are identified as Ramsai, Gosai, Damarsai, Jarmeli, and Varlangi varieties. According to the Cardamom Development Center, it has been recommended to register these varieties of cardamom as Nepali varieties. According to the center, cardamom of Ramsai variety is believed to have been cultivated in Nepal in 1950 BS. The cardamom which produces 31 kg in one rupee is now cultivated in 6,000 hectares. Another species cultivated at the same height, which is Varlangi, is also cultivated especially in Payang, Jamuna, Mabu, and Gorke of Ilam. Cardamom of this variety, which produces 45 kg in one rupee, is cultivated in 3,000 hectares of land. Cardamom of Golsai variety has been cultivated in the eastern hills of Nepal since 1850 BS. The cardamom is cultivated at an altitude of 1,200 to 1,600 meters above sea level. The cardamom, which produces 35 kg in one rupee, is cultivated in 59,000 hectares. Similarly, farmers are also said to be very interested in Dumbarsai. Dumbarsai cardamom, which was started at the rate of 35 kg in one rupee, cultivated 170 years ago, is now planted in an area of 1,500 hectares. After the news report, let us now take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now talk about milk. Milk is very important for the human diet. 
The Nepali Milk Development Corporation has been seeing ups and downs since the establishment of the organization. The farmers have to pay the price for the inconvenience in the transportation and politics. This time, the milk is not collected in the eastern state of Nepal due to unavailable chemicals to process the milk. The chemicals are supposedly stuck at the border. The farmers have to keep their milk and the consumer will not have any milk. These kinds of obstacles should be overcome in order for the smooth functioning of production and distribution of agriculture produced in the country. Farmers in the eastern region who in the past had problems selling milk are again facing the same problem. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Farmers in the eastern region who in the past had problems selling milk are again facing the same problem. Shortly after being released from the milk holiday, the milk distribution center has stopped taking milk under various pretexts. The Biratnagar Milk Distribution Project has stopped taking milk for over one week, citing lack of chemical for processing milk. After the sale of milk, farmers, especially those engaged in commercial cattle breeding, have faced problems. On the one hand, the milk produced by the farmers is being wasted, and on the other hand, it is difficult to meet the family expenses. The Biratnagar project buys an average of 30,000 liters of milk daily. More than 75% of it is supplied from Elam. According to the District Milk Producers Cooperative Association, Elam, the farmers of Elam alone are losing more than 1.3 million rupees daily due to non-purchase of milk due to lack of chemicals in the project. The project has been purchasing milk from Dhankuta, Tiratum, Morang and Sunsari in the east. Farmers in the east have been losing more than 10 million rupees as the project has been closed for more than a week. It is uncertain when the project will come into operation. The project has stated that it did not buy milk as it could not make powder as the chemicals to be imported from India were stuck at the customs. The Biratnagar Milk Distribution Project has stated that the milk could not be processed as the supplier did not bring the chemical at the customs. After the news report on milk, let us now talk about organic fertilizer. I've been feeling really uncomfortable talking about chemical fertilizers. My palms have been sweating. It is because the health issue of human beings is so great when we talk about the chemicals we use. Today, I'm feeling a foot taller talking about organic fertilizer. You know that I am bringing goodness near you. Yes, 17-year-old young man is producing organic fertilizer in Rupandehi, where many of our food come from. This is a great venture, which is promising for the future of the pocket and the earth. This young man is cleaning up his home city and producing fertilizer with the wastage. There's production of organic fertilizer in Saina Maina municipality of the Rupandehi district. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. There's production of organic fertilizer in Saina Maina municipality of Rupandehi district. This work is carried out by a very hardworking young man, Sivu Bhandari. He keeps earthworms to produce the fertilizer. The earthworms have to be protected from dogs and the sun. To protect the earthworm, the pit is covered with a metal sheet. The fertilizer is produced with the wastage and animal dung. The wastage is fed to the earthworms and fertilizer is produced. At the time when there is shortage of chemical fertilizer, organic fertilizer is a better option. Pandari is very aware of the fact that there is shortage of fertilizer and this has motivated him to produce more organic fertilizer. He is also involved in cleaning up the city. From here, one ton of fertilizer has been sold. This fertilizer costs 50 rupees per kilogram. 25% of the fertilizer goes to Butwal. This kind of work is very important for saving the soil. Sivu Bhandari of Saina Maina Rupandehi is an example that everyone should follow. After the news report, let us now talk about oranges in Tano. It is reported that the production of oranges has declined this year due to climate change. The oranges are of smaller size and the number of oranges is less. 
Climate change causes problems like drought and heavy rain. It causes cold spells and heat waves. It is really tricky what will happen next. This time, the oranges were the victim of too much rain in Tanau, according to the news we are receiving here at the news desk. Oranges are natural to the foothills of Nepal. The Nepali farmers are motivated to grow oranges since there are different programs to market the produce. Meghdi village municipality of Tanau district has been established as a model orchard of the district for orange cultivation. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Chuk village of Meghdi Gaupalika 2 of Tanau district has been established as a model orchard of the district for orange farming. According to the District Agriculture Knowledge Center, there has been a slight decline in the production of oranges in this area, despite a sharp decline in production in other areas. The center had provided 22,72,493 rupees to the Umachok Orange Block Steering Committee in the current fiscal year. The amount has been provided for the expansion of orange cultivation, prevention of diseases, small irrigation program, planting of orange saplings, and strengthening of orchards. In the fiscal year 2076-77, the center had also given 13,76,771 rupees as aid. Farmers here have been earning 500,000 to 65 lack annually by selling oranges. This year, 22 million worth oranges have been sold from Umachok village alone. That production is 22% lower than last year. Last year, 2 crore 22 lakh rupees worth oranges were sold from here. Due to the heavy rains this year, the production of oranges has decreased due to small size and late ripening according to the center. The oranges produced here are being exported to Damoli, Pokhara, Chitton, Kathmandu and other places. Oranges have been cultivated in 150 hectares of land in Umachok block area and 235 households have been involved. A total of 27,913 orange saplings have been planted in the area according to the District Agriculture Knowledge Center, Tano. After the news report, let us now talk about insect in the mustard. Nepal produces one of the most mustard oil in the world as it is used in cooking here. Mustard oil is preferred over other oils in Nepal. This certainly means that mustard is one of the most important crops in Nepal. The South is the main producer of this crop. This year, the mustard harvest is disturbed by the attack of a type of insect that looks like the army worm. The technical team is working to combat it through application of pesticides. However, it has not come under control. This will decrease the amount of mustard harvested. The mustard which is ready to be harvested is infested with a type of insect. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The mustard, which is ready to be harvested, is infested with a type of insect. Army grubs, which look like army worms, have been found in the ripening mustard crop in Punabas municipality. Farmers are worried after the insects damaged mustard pods and plants. They say that the insect did not die even after using pesticides. The technical team of Agriculture Knowledge Center and Crop Protection Lab is surveying the situation. According to the farmer, butterfly larva-like insects are seen in the mustard seeds and it has also damaged the pods and plants. According to the Agriculture Knowledge Center Kanjanpur, there has been an outbreak of worm called army grub. After the news report, let us now talk about the agitation of the sugarcane farmers. The Nepali government had signed an agreement with the farmers saying that all the dues would be paid by the 7th of Mag last year. That was signed on 18th of Posh. It has been almost a year since it is the beginning of Posh now. The agitation has been carried out since the past Sunday, one week ago today. The farmers are sitting in the coal floor of Maitikar Highway. The government is working on agreement with the farmers, as we have been told. 
This is really unethical. If we do not get paid for our hard work, what should we believe in? What should be the next move of the farmers? Agriculture is the most respectful work and we should realize it and pay for our food. The farmers have stated that they will continue the peaceful agitation till they get paid for their sugar cane. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The farmers have stated that they will continue the peaceful agitation till they get paid for their sugar cane. In a written reply to a letter sent by government for talks on Thursday, the Sarlai Sugarcane Farmers Struggle Committee said that the peaceful agitation will continue until the Ministry of Industry pays the industrialists. In the two-point reply, it has been stated that if there is a Prime Minister's Relief Fund or any other state fund, the areas should be paid to the farmers from that fund and the entire amount should be paid by the government with interest from the industrialists. They are adamant that they will not enter into negotiations unless there is an environment conducive to their conditions. Shurkin farmers have been agitating sit-ins in Kathmandu for a long time saying that they have not received their dues. Shurkin farmers of Sarai have started Kathmandu-centric agitation on Sunday saying that the government's promise to collect the areas from the sugar mill operators has not been fulfilled. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Basnet. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. Farmers have demanded marketing of commodities produced in Doti district. Five varieties of cardamom have been identified as Nepali varieties. There's production of organic fertilizer in Saina Maina municipality of the Rupandehi district. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Basnet. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samrita Krishi, Nepal Kishan.